Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be playing Fallout New Vegas. Now, this has just been released on the Game Pass, which is why I'm going to try it out today. Um, I absolutely loved Fallout 4. I played it through like six or seven times. My latest save actually has over seven days play time, um, which is absolutely insane, I would say, for one save on a game. Obviously, I'm not going to go into details of like other games, though Guitar Hero Live, I did manage to get 140 ga days play time. <laughs> but Fallout New Vegas um, is apparently quite a good game compared to all of the other ones. Um, I never really liked Fallout 3 that much, um, but apparently Fallout New Vegas is really good, so let's go. Uh, continue. Why does it say continue? No saves found, okay. <clears throat> New game. Do -do -do. Welcome to fabulous New Vegas. changes that iconic line war when never atomic changes. fire consumed the earth those who survived did so in great underground vaults when they opened their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies establishing villages forming tribes as decades passed what had been the american southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. 
Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. That was dark. That was that went in depth. One thing I did notice throughout that was the fact that the vaults opened up um, where they went to re-inhabit places, which I think is very similar to Fallout 76. So I don't know whether 76 was trying to follow You're that awake. path. How about that? Oh. Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a sec? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? My name is Bob. Uh, I'm gonna use my real name. Cause I... Oh, no. No! I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? <laughs> Quite terribly, actually. <laughs> Next. Um, we'll go for that one. Uh, what preset should we have? Oh, I quite like this guy. Hang on. Shape. Oh, so we can change quite a lot of stuff. I'm gonna leave the customization really because normally we can do it anyways later on. Um, um, I'm gonna go with that. Go back. Uh, hair color. Oh my gosh, we can go RGB. We can go full RGB. Eh. <laughs> there we go. Bright green. <laughs> Facial hair. There we go. We'll have a goatee. Uh, it's done. Yes, I want this to be well, my character. Yeah, most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Bigger tester. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. Oh, so this is we'll picking our right special perks. You get back all your faculties.
Okay, so strength affects your melee, your inventory weight, and your damage weapon effectiveness. I'm going to go 7 for strength. I normally go quite high on strength. Uh, explosive lockpick, energy weapons, accuracy, compass range. We'll go for 5. Uh, unarmed, health, resistance, survival. Yeah, stick with 5. We'll go for 4 for charisma. Um, intelligence... Stick with five. Um, I think we might want to put a couple more in. We'll leave it like that. That'd be good. How do I confirm? Ah. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't drop. Maybe another Sit down on the couch. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. <laughs> Dog kick. House. Target. Night. Silencer. Bandit. Dab. Light. Torch. Mother. Human shield. <laughs> mm. Sometimes when you give tests like this, you learn more than you was hoping for, and I reckon that ain't always the best thing. But I guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. Uh, disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Agree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Uh, I'd probably disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Strongly agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. A broken chain. I don't see that. A chemical reaction could be. I'd probably go with the two-headed ant. Okay. How about this one? Uh, like two pistols. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. That's kind of Last funny. Last one. See, I would say that's two bears high-fiving each other. Um... But yeah, I'd probably say a bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Uh, so melee weapons, speech, unarmed. This is all probably random. I can guarantee you that. Um, so I want to tag guns because I really like guns uh, using guns um, I would say more survival I would say speech and Speech. 
science. Let's go for that. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Oh. Flame that burns twice as bright, burns half as long, all weapons have a plus three percent chance to critically hit, but equipment condition decays fifteen percent faster. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire twenty percent more quickly, but your shots are twenty percent less accurate. No. That's quite decent. Plus one perception while wearing glasses. Uh, you gain plus five to barter, medicine, repair, science, but have minus five to energy weapons. Mm, I don't think I use energy weapons much though. Uh, melee, unarmed attack to do more damage. More easily crippled. See, I think that would be good. And that. Done. All right. right, so what we need to do, we need to follow the dock now. Whereabouts? Oh, hang on. Can we take all of this stuff? It's not stealing, is it? Uh, take, take, take them. That would be very good. Oh my gosh, there's so many in there. I'm taking loads of stuff here. Uh, do they have med kits in the bathrooms? No. Uh, this is where we were at before. We've already taken the stuff. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack of modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Uh, thanks for patching me up, it. It's what I'm here for. You Gotta should be talk nice. to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. <laughs> uh... Stimpaks heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Radaway removes radiation over time. Ammunition has... You may turn off hard hardcore mode on or off at any time in the gameplay menu. If you ac activate hardcore mode now and maintain it through the end of the main storyline, you will receive a special reward. No. I don't want the special reward. Ain't that a kick in the head? 
Oh, I thought that was like uh, for rejecting the hardcore mode. I was like, well, ain't that a kick in the head? No. Oh. What the fuck are we at? See, that's weird coming out of just a house. Just an ordinary house, not a full on thing. Hiya. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Do you know who those men were? that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Uh, how did you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Uh, I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Bye. Happy trails. Happy trails. Saloon. There's the saloon. Uh, this is a general store. Oh, every single time we have to load in. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's stuff we can steal. We can steal weapons. I'm not going to steal it, though. Um, I think we need to go to the saloon first. Definitely. Um, so I'm currently playing this on the Xbox One X. Oh, no. That's the wrong door. This door. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. What do they do? Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Ooh. I love the dog. Where's the dog? I want to stroke the doggy. Oh my god. Gosh, the doggy is so cute. <laughs> now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh, the bottle's there. Okay. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Uh, I'm in. Follow me. Let's go do it. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. How do you sprint in this game? I know there's a way you can change the camera angle. I want a dog. I want a dog companion in this game. Can I shoot her in the head and kill her? I'm such an evil bugger. That's all I think about.
you are a very slow runner slash jogger. Like, you look like you're walking pace. You're going at a walking pace. Woof, woof. This game is stunning, though. Like, compared to uh, Fallout 3, which was a little bit crappy looking. I mean, this game did come out, like, a couple of years later. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Come on, then. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Whoa, look at them! <laughs> oh my god, they're stupid little things! That's hilarious! <laughs> the way they run. Where is she? Ah, there she is. Oh, that's... I'm not trying to target her though. You can shoot their gun. That's not something in the other See? game. You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Uh, I'll come Shouldn't with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Come the stupid bastards. Where are they going? This has gone horribly wrong. What the? <laughs> I'm not doing very well. I don't like this gun. Mm mm. Tasty. Took Sunny about a reward. Nice. Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. That dog looks Best really creepy it. in the background. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Uh, couldn't hurt. Alright then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Uh, okay, so we need to go up here. How do we run faster? Is 
There's got to be a sprint button. Uh, let's go up here first. Uh, I'm guessing that there is the graveyard. Uh, I want to have a look in the options. Controls. There's no sprint command, so yeah, there's no sprinting in this game. Uh, we'll do a quick save. No, that's not the graveyard. Dead. Uh, nothing for me. Uh, what mission is this that we're going to now? Right, we must nearly be there now. Let's go for body except I'm so bad at shooting in this game. My weapon's in poor condition. All right. Ah, there we go. Brock flower. Right, then we need to go all the way back down there to a schoolhouse of sorts. My hair is amazing in this game. Um, in this direction. Shooting at me.
Oh, what are these? Oh, am I not supposed to shoot them? Ah! Ah! No! Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. Um, if you guys do want to see more, then let me know down in uh, the comments. Um, because I'm going to have to do all that again without shooting anyone. Bear that in mind. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And if you do want to see more, then again, let me know. And if you want to help support the channel, hit the join button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Lead me into your world